Right, this is a lecture on primes and it's the canonical form. Um, right, definitions. Now these definitions aren't quite in order, I've only just realised. Right, if P is prime and P divides A times B, then either P divides A or P divides B. And you can test this with... I tried it with 17 and it works fine. I had 17 divides... 17 times 2. <laughs> And 17 does divide 17, funny enough. Um, let's skip this one for the minute and go straight to this one. Uh, a prime is a number not divisible by any primes less than or equal to its square root. Now, this is an imp a useful fact to know if you're proving something's prime. So you don't have to you don't have to go all the way up every number. Seeing if it's seeing if it's prime. Uh, now, the canonical form. This is what we're going to be doing today. It, uh, any integer can be expressed as a product of primes. Um, we've got an example for that, and I'll show you the method now. Uh, you take a number and you square root it. Now, this is the number that you want to find whether it's you want to find its canonicalization. I don't know if that's a word or not. All right, and you see which what's the smallest prime number below the value. So, say you 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 had a hundred and square rooted it to be ten. You find the the smallest value, uh, but below that, so all the primes, uh, one, uh, not one, two, three, five, and seven. You see which ones are those the smallest that divide it. So in that case, ten, the smallest is two. And then you express your value in terms of your other one. So we have ten equals five times two, and you repeat the steps. For the b, so our b was 5 here, until n is itself a prime. Now I've got an example if that didn't make any sense. So, find, now I just left all that. Find the canonical form of 1989. Now this was the year I was born, so I've chosen this. So, like I said, you find the square root, which is 44.5, la la la, we don't care. And you have all the primes less than 44, less than or equal to. So all of these are primes. And what you do, this is just a method of trial and error. You get your calculator out and you do 189 divided by 2, nope. 189 divided by 3, yes. And it's equal to 663. So we have, we carry on again. So we have uh, square root of 663 is 25.7, la la la. So all the ones less than 25. So anything less than here. And we divide again, we carry on out, so we try 2, nope, 3, it does work. Um, so, so far we've got 1989 is 3 times 3 times 221, because 3 times 221 is 663. <clears throat> uh, we carry on again, with some with our 221, which is 14.8, la la la, so everything less than that, which is these values here, uh, and we work out that nope, no, 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 all up to 13. Now, 13 does divide into this, and it divides 17 times. Now, just looking at these, we can see that 13 and 17 are both prime. So we've now done the canonicalization. So we can say 1989, 1989 even, is 3 squared times 13 times 17.